I started playing um, my favorite things about 15 years ago. And it was one of the first things I heard as a kid that made me want to play jazz. It was um, Coltrane's, you know, as soon as I heard McCoy time. Wow, just took me away, you know. And um, so I was playing a solo gig. I was already well into my career. I was in Marciac and I played this thing and I, it was a... It was a uh, an encore, and I just started playing like this, you know, and they loved it, and then something happened where it kind of, like, it became me, but it was still, like, for me, I knew it was, wow, that's McCoy, and my musicians would say, oh, man, yeah, you did the McCoy thing there, but people who didn't know McCoy sort of heard me, I almost felt guilty, <laughs> you know, I wanted to tell everybody, that's McCoy who made these <laughs> thirds, you know, and made that nice pastoral, impressionistic sound, you know. But at the same time, I realized that I had, I had taken something with, from him and brought it into my own thing, so even though I'm supposed to be a guy with my own voice, I, I don't know, who is it? Picasso is supposed to have said the greatest artist, um, they, what, they don't steal, or, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Or, the, or the best thieves, or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're really strong in yourself, you can just steal someone's shit and it'll still be you. If you want to embody Elvin, if you would try to not do that, that would be also inauthentic, you know, because, you, you, because if you want to do something, you can just let it happen and then maybe it will mix into what you're doing, you know.